guys welcome back to my channel so i'm back again right i'm back again my name is ulungle timba and i was a man zulu and you are here with me today and that you're watching today so i don't have much um it's a it's another small segment but it has me thinking my my mind is going you know in all avenues of thoughts and i'm just thinking to myself do we understand how wonderful and how um how healing candles are are you aware of that as yourself as a gifted person as a mundo um onomoya as a mundo sebenzayo um even though even if to our last even if to our last even if to our sebenzi but as a mundo omoya as a mundo opila gives into the omoya um it's because it's ning are we aware of how powerful lighting a candle is just lighting a candle you don't have to do um a whole lot of things you don't have to pass that you don't have to pray in this case i'm just really talking about just lighting a candle and that's it okay so these are the things that i see within myself or that i realize um with my candle or with, when i'm lighting my candle so i i'm i try not to be with the things i do i try not to be codependent I try not to use too me too much of those things. Um, I try to use whatever I'm using um, very, very, very rarely, so that I limit myself from being codependent. Um, because codependence and spirit codependence spirituality is really not um, healthy. Uh, things can go sideways really quick and i don't recommend that people become co uh, codependent in anything anyways so what i noticed so firstly i've said this before in my previous videos i've said that i'm a i'm a i'm a candle person right i've said that i have a gift of fire and i've said that i realized i saw it a long time ago but i i, I didn't really 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 understand what it means and it seems like every time i grow into a deeper um understanding and understanding of what it means what i mean by this is okay so we have right um different ways of healing right um i'm talking about ourselves we have different ways we are required to heal ourselves right each and every person has that you may um be told or you may be required to partner you may be required to burn in people you may be required to just be required to just pray um you may be required to go to a manzini and all of that um so we have those different uh activities that we do that are our rituals you know our personal uh prayer and cleansing rituals and um you know that those are standard right so my standard is um prayer obviously but when i go to a candle when i go to a candle um in any situation in any situation it feels like somebody literally lights up my soul and it literally feels like somebody is giving me a new pair of lungs to breathe with literally um because you know it, it, i go through a whole lot of things that are spiritual related even though my mind my mind doesn't really register that much but I real I always realize how spiritual related something is or an emotion is or a feeling is only when I take to you know to doing those personal rituals 
with a different intention so i do have uh days where i'm just lighting my candles just with the with an intention of being around uh, a candle lit area and um, they smell nice to me um, but <clears throat> beyond that um, I felt compared, uh, compelled to talk about this because there's a lot of um, naysayers when it comes to like personal rituals right there's a lot of naysayers uh, there's a lot of people who claim certain things are, ne are not needed certain mediums of um, of connecting to spirit or to your spirit to yourself are not needed um you know there's a lot of people who rubbish candles and all of that um i'm gonna talk about candles since i'm this video is about candles and for me it is like okay um when i'm going to when i'm going to when i'm going to when i'm going to when i'm uh, when I'm to who's gifted in whatever, um, but you are a healer or a light worker, um, you are called. Do you shut the noise out and actually learn to listen to what your spirit needs at that moment? Um, it can need your spirit can need different things in many different ways because as i said we go through so many emotions and they may represent being you know uh, being of a spiritual nature that they can e either be like um things being attached to you you know um negative influences and all of that so with me um lately i get a lot of get a lot of anxiety i get a lot of um like my anxiety is crippling the anxiety i have is crippling i have um heart palpitations and um you know the i know i haven't spoken about how that happened because i was really on a path to healing like one and a half years ago i was really perfectly fine um after i had um used my own energy healing to work on myself so i was perfectly fine and then bizarre things started happening and with that being said i developed crippling anxiety um uh irrational fear ptsd and you know all these things and sometimes i just have a heavy heart out of the blue and it gets so crippling like okay i can hold it off with prayer for a couple of days and all of that and working on myself emotionally doing energy healing on myself but then it gets to a point where it gets really crippling and i just find myself lighting a candle or needing or i just see like a vision of a candle or i i smell um, candle wax or i just find myself repeating to myself that i need a candle so when i light my candle i literally as i said uh, previously i don't do anything with for this intention for the um, for all the anxiety and stuff, I don't do anything. But as I said, I get it feels like I get a new pair of lungs to breathe with. It feels like I'm breathing new air, and I can just feel my my spirit and my mind healing on a level that I really can't um, explain, and they the two collaborate together on a level that I also cannot really um, point out in terms of uh, scientifically or, you know, biologically or with epigenet epigenetics, you know, um, but it's on some level that that is probably deep that I uh, probably <laughs> will never get to 
uh, comprehend in terms of, you know, um, uh, my mind and how I see things and how I perceive things. So, yes, candles are really good in assisting with any um, nature of um, extreme sadness, depression, anxiety, um, feelings of loss, feelings of abandonment, heaviness that is spiritually related, right? And it could be spiritual related for many different reasons. Your, your aura may be uh, attacked. Your, um, your frequency uh, may be attacked to, to, to be brought down to a lower octave. Um, you may be um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an environment with um, negative entities. You may be in an environment with um, um, entities that are sucking out your energy, um, energy vampires. Um, there could be other attachments to you um, that you can't be aware of but if you light your candles also you get to get a specific message about what's really going on uh, with you emotionally and psychologically that's what I love also about candles um, it, it clarifies what is really going on you get to see it it's like looking in the mirror you know so I love um, candles for that um, so if you are a person who goes through what I go through maybe or you know who would see actually I've seen um, a number of visions where Meleng Bega Amakandela you know somewhere you know creates a small altar where I can place candles and all of that but I just don't know what to do I don't know what to do with that vision I don't know what to do with those candles etc etc whatever it is that you feel like you can't possibly do my advice would be just try just lighting up the candle and um you will go you will add more as you go i don't know somehow when i'm recording there's always gonna be a noise i think there's men coming back from soccer or whatnot anyways i'm about to end this video so where was I? Yes, um, you can start with one candle, go two, go three. Depends how comfortable, how quickly, um, how comfortable you get and how quickly you get comfortable, right? And then you can understand more of your spirit and your spiritual journey from then onwards. You, you can understand um, um, what stimulates um, the gifts in you because in in some cases the gifts in us need stimulating right um and what stimulates the healing in you what what the what what becomes an engine so that you you start um going through a process of healing again for me as i said sometimes i do use a candle and it just um brings about so much healing it brings about so much purification it brings about so much clarity um it brings about so much like i get i i see where when my third hour is blocked i see clearly i feel like um positive energies um even more um my heart opens up my chakras open up even more and um, I really am able to just go through my day nothing big happens in terms of um, maybe physically any physical manifestations it's really 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 just my body um, going back to equilibrium again and my mind going back to equilibrium my spirit going back to equilibrium those are the physical things that i feel and see happening and like the response of my body from how it was the state it was in previously to the state it comes to being in um those are the things i can see 
and um yeah my mood is lifted up to where it should be and yeah those are the physical things that i can say happen for me but to anyone else anything else can happen you know um but yeah i just wanted to talk about that candles candle lighting and spirituality and the importance of honoring that part of yourself that may require you know the use of candles or the use of anything that visions have shown you to to use um but as i said it's not it's it's something very rare for me and um yeah i learned to deal with things using different healing modalities but yeah thank you so much for coming and please don't forget to like subscribe and please before you download videos please watch so that you can watch on my channel so that you can watch the ads too please 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 do that for me um but other than that thank you for coming through and i wish you love peace and happiness